Hey guys, Riley here with Dark Arrow. We got some exciting progress going on in the shop today. I want to show you what we're working on behind me, so let's take a look. Okay, so what you're looking at here is the first time that we fit up the wing and the fuselage together as an assembly with the whole airframe sitting inverted. If you were at our booth at AirVenture, or if you've been following along on our social media, you've probably seen that we've had these together before, but with everything sitting upright. Uh, now we're doing it inverted because there are a couple builder tasks that are most easily accomplished with this all sitting upside down. Uh, the big two are uh, verifying the alignment between the lower wing skin and the lower fuselage skin. So we're checking there's a seam at the trailing edge of the wing and another seam at the leading edge. We wanna make sure that aligns. There's no jogs or the wing isn't skewed. That all looks good so far. The other thing that we're doing is match drilling the bolt holes between the wing and the fuselage. So there's four bolts that structurally join the wing to the fuselage and you need those holes to be perfectly aligned so that everything fits together properly. The way to ensure that they're aligned is just match drilling the holes together. We can do that with it sitting inverted here because you can climb up underneath the fuselage here, stick your head up into the cabin and you got really good access and uh, ergonomics to drill those holes. Uh, as long as we have this inverted, there's a number of other tasks that are pretty easy to accomplish in this configuration. One of those tasks is installing the wingtip lights and running the electrical wires uh, from the wingtip into the fuselage, as well as installing the pitot-static line since our pitot tube is going to be out at the wingtip. We're also going to be installing the aileron controls. So if you've been following along, you've seen I've been working on those. Now we'll finally get to assemble them into the fuselage. Another one of the tasks is installing the fuel lines that run uh, from the wing root or the tanks at the wing root to the fuel sump. Uh, it's easy to do that with this inverted because you can just pop up underneath here into the fuselage rather than leaning over the fuselage in and trying to reach all that stuff. Uh, so you can just basically set a stool under there and climb up under and access everything. Okay, so let's talk about our setup and how we got everything into this orientation. Right now we have the whole airframe sitting on two tables. So there's a table at the back of the airframe by the tail and then another one at the forward fuselage here right up by the firewall. So that gets it up off the ground high enough so that the vertical stabilizer clears. Uh, you've probably seen videos of us flipping the fuselage before. That's a two-man operation. Uh, we do that with the wing detached, of course. And then uh, putting the wing onto the fuselage, we did that with three guys. So one guy on each wing tip, and then the third guy kind of stands in the center and just helps spot and call out where you are relative to the fuselage. The wing is pretty light as you see it. Uh, it's about 80 pounds, so one guy on each wing tip, they're each holding around 40 pounds. And that makes a big difference because you can kind of take your time and get everything aligned properly. You're not getting super fatigued holding up this big heavy assembly while you're trying to position it. So that's a really nice uh, aspect about just the low weight of all these components. We did come up with a way that you could do this with one person. Uh, you'd have to build a little bit of a tall sawhorse fixture on each wing tip with some wedges and then slowly lower it down and align it. It would take more time, but it's definitely doable uh, with a single person. We do put a lot of effort into trying to make this easy to assemble and put together. So we try to minimize tasks that require multiple people. This is one that helps to have a buddy or two, but you could definitely still do it by yourself. Okay, so that's everything I think I wanted to cover on the wing fuselage fit up. We'll have more to show on this in some upcoming videos, so stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.